Namaste, Namaskaram to all participants. Nam heartiest welcome to everyone. Uh, namaste, uh, Guruji, Acharya Ji, Sunal Man Singh Ji. Heartiest welcome namaste. to you, ma'am. Ji Ji, Namaste. Tanji. Namaste. Namaste, Namaste. 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 Uh, we are very, very honored and privileged to have you here, ma'am, uh, for our session at the FTP. Uh, we are on day 15 today. Um, we will be having uh, the session on Natya Shastra, Sangeeta and Nritya. Uh, I will just take this opportunity to introduce uh, Sonal ji. Dr. Sonal Man Singh ji was nominated by the President of India to the Rajya Sabha, which is the upper house of the Indian Parliament, in July 2018, in recognition of her lifelong dedication and service to India's art. She is the recipient of Padma Vibhushan in 2003 from Sri APJ Abdul Kalamji and Padma Bhushan in 1992 from Sri R. Venkat Ramanji. The Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, nominated her as a Navratna for the Swachh Bharat mission. Her unique contribution has been her lifelong work using her knowledge to address socio-cultural issues through the chosen medium of dance as an art educator, cultural activist, and social motivator. As the founder president of Sri Kamakya Kalapit, which is the Center for Indian Classical Dances, established in 1977 at Delhi. She has trained several thousand talented students who are carrying the message of Indian culture globally. She teaches the art as a holistic concept, combining music, yoga, Sanskrit, and cultural traditions of India. We are indeed extremely honored and blessed to have you, ma'am. And... Uh, I would take this opportunity to hand over the session to you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Namaskaram. Thank you very much for your kind words. <clears throat> Natya Shastra is an ocean, samudra. And uh, even though just the two elements of Nritya and Sangeeta, which I'm supposed to speak on today, it's very difficult to uh, contain <laughs> something so vast within uh, one and a half hours, uh, I will try my best. Because uh, something that has uh, been an ongoing process, a work in progress, which is to say that uh, trying to understand Natya Shastra, I'm still trying to understand. But I shall share with you whatever I have gained. Uh, <clears throat> Natya Shastra. The, uh, I, I begin because Sangeet and Ritya are the main topics today. I usually like to, even if they're not the topics in my general speeches, I like to remind ourselves that India is a given name. It is not our name, not the name produced and created emerging from this Bhumi. Bharata Bhumi, Bharata Varsha, Bharata. This is the name for our country, our nation, since times immemorial. Now, Asetu Himalaya, what is a geographical? There are many, many. Um, definitions of this land. I just like the simple thing, Asetu Himalay. The Ram Setu in the south, Tanushkodi and beyond, and Himalaya, the Mukuta, the crown of India. So the entire land, because west and east, <clears throat> we are bound by oceans and deserts. But Asetu Himalay and Bharata, Bhava Raga Tala, very simply put, one of the definitions that I love most and which is very appropriate. So Bharata Natya Shastra is about Bharata, Bhava, Raga, Tala. These are the 
composite. These form the composite word of uh, what we call Natya Shastra. And uh, Bhava is, of course, emotions, feelings, expressions, Raga, which denotes music, melody, also love and attachment. Raga, Vairagya, Raga, Viraga. And Tala, that is a pramana, measure. The measure between two claps or a measure between silences. So I would say rhythm, distance, measure, that's Tala. Bhavanaga Tala Bharata. Uh, interestingly, our neighbor Tibet, India is known, Bharat is known as Gyagar, the land of dance. And it's so appropriate. So no wonder that the God of Gods, Mahadeva, is given the title of Nataraja, the king of dance, the king of dancers, actors. And the feminine principle of creation, Devi, is known as Nateshwari. Ishwari, the supreme goddess of dance, of acting. And from this beautiful concept emerges our concept of creation. The concept of Ardhanarishwara, therefore, and from here, the Ardhanarishwara, Devi and Devata, Mahadeva, Nateshwari, Nataraja. The uh, concept of the feminine, graceful, vibrant, but very graceful, Lasyamaya, that is Lasya. And Tandava, the male, that is the vibrant, powerful male. So Ardhanarishwara, Lasya, Tandava, Nateshwari, Nataraja, and these are the presiding deities of Nritya and Sangeeta, as we understand by the word Bharata. Now, I would like to take you quickly because there's so much to be said. And as, as, as I mentioned that um, time is limited. I come to the dating of Natya Shastra. It's, it's very strange that in uh, Bharata, in our, our country, the history is so, so, so long that 500 years here or there, 1000 years here or there doesn't matter. Generally, it is believed that uh, one of the, it is, is one of the most debated issues and it is now given any time between second century BCE to fourth century CE. And there's a gap of 600 years, doesn't matter. I would like to believe, I would like to imagine that it is even older, but this is not to be debated. What is very interesting is that Bharata Muni, the author of Natya Shastra, has mentioned at least two dozen names of Natya Acharyas who lived before him. And this is a wonderful tradition of humility and acknowledging in our country, in our traditions, that we are not Swayambhu. I'm not the only one. Before me, it has happened. Before me, so many gurus and natyacharyas have taught. They held the parampara and that is how it has come to me. So this is what Bharata Muni also does. And by the way, there are other Bharatas also, so we should not mix up. There is Jada Bharata, the, uh, the Rishi, who was so completely deep down in his Samadhi that uh, nothing mattered. He didn't feel anything, Jada. Another Bharata is the son of Shakuntala and Dushyanta. And we believe that from him, the name Bharata has come. And uh, the Bharata, the uh, brother, younger brother of Sri Ramachandra. And of course, our Bharata Muni. So this is also very interesting. Other interesting fact 
that is often mentioned is that Bharata Muni is one, but Bharata as a word, cumulative, belongs to the clan, a whole clan, Kunba, Kula, of dancers, actors, singers, performers. So we are all Bharatas. I am, I descend from the Bharata Muni tradition, Bharata Natya Shastra tradition, and I'm also a Bharata. So the oldest existing work on theory and practice of ancient Indian performing arts is considered to be this Bharata Natya Shastra, which is a compendium. It offers fundamentals of theories. Example, Rasa and Dhvani, which developed further by Mammata in his Tave Prakasha, Dhvanya Loka of Abhinava Gupta. These are two examples of how Bharata's theories and fundamentals were further developed by others. It is an encyclopedic text because it contains, it is amazing, theories and tenets for practice of theater, theater, aesthetics, and also elements of architecture, painting, prosody, language, grammar, phonetics, and other aspects related to theater. And it draws on disciplines as diverse as philosophy, psychology, mythology, ritual, and geography. It indeed is mind boggling. Now, Shastra, Natya Shastra, we'll come to Natya later because Natya will refer to mainly music and dance and therefore Abhinaya or expressive dance. But Shastra, the word, refers to all authoritative and systematic disciplines. They are normative as well as prescriptive. These are codes and manuals and treatises and texts and sciences. All this is contained in the word Shastra. So there is a Darshana Shastra, Dharma Shastra, Natya Shastra, Ayurveda Shastra, etc. Now, Natya Shastra, Abhinava Gupta, the 10th, 11th, 11th century, early 11th century, uh, seventh sage scholar from Kashmir, the Kashmir Shaivism. He feels that entire Natya Shastra has been composed as answer to five questions raised in the very beginning of chapter one. The first chapter. And this is very interesting because this is the Upanishadic tradition. Questions and Guru answers. It is not just a long spiel of words. First question, what is the origin of the Natya Veda and how it emerged? The word Natya Veda, I'll explain later why it is called Veda. Veda is basically Vidya. Uh, any text that dis disseminates Vidya, knowledge, is Veda. But how Natya Shastra says Natya Veda is called in respect of its uh, vast, vast, vast knowledge that it offers, that how it draws from the four Vedas, different elements, I'll come to that later. First question, what is the origin of the Natya Veda and how it emerged? Second question, who are the Adhikaris? That is, who are the entitled ones for its study? <laughs> Unlike today, when with the Google Acharya, you can, anyone can study anything, whatever you wish, it's at the tip of the Google. Number three, how many components, elements are there Fourth question, what are the specific means, pramana, of understanding Natya? And the fifth question, what is the prayoga of the Shastra? So Natya Shastra, unlike the other Shastras, is a prayoga Shastra. 
it is to be understood, learned, and practiced. Unless it is put into practice, it is not the complete study, and we have not understood Natya Shastra. So in the beginning of another chapter, that is chapter six, another set of five questions are asked by pupils. First is nature of the rasa. Why are they called rasa as such? Now, as we know that there are many, many key words to understand Bharatiya Paramparas, Bharatiya Darshan. And, in, and behind all the arts, visual, plastic, performing arts, the principles emerge from the philosophy of those particular forms. It's amazing. I think this is the only country in the world, perhaps, where all the art forms are informed by philosophy, darshana. So nature of the rasa, and the rasa is one of those key words, as I said, satyam, shivam, sundaram, like that, there are some key words, parampara, rudhi, rasa, is just a two letter word, two letters, but it comprises the entire universe. There is no universe, no creation without rasa. The second question there in the chapter sixth, why bhava are called bhava? What is the cause for their all pervasiveness? So beautiful. I mean, these questions can be answered again and again and again, according to Desha and Kala. Number three, what is the nature of Sangraha, abridgment? Even Natya Shastra maybe has not been able to give in totality what all there that exists within this country, this Bhumi. So, it's a sangraha, sangrahit ideas, sangrahit tenets, principles, concepts. Number four, what is the nature of nirukta etymology? Number five, what is the nature of the karika? That is aphoristic statement in verse and form, in verse form. My God, I mean, when I when I am rereading. It's, it's, it's so important that how terminologies were formed and how important it is to understand the terminology in today's context. So Natya Shastra's first chapter clearly states what influence this will have on various people in varied situations. I'm taking you to some of the important uh, uh, ideas contained there, according to me. It says, Dharmo Dharma Pravrittanam Kamaha Kamo Pasevitam Nigraho Durvinitanam Vinitanam Damakriya. 106, 107, sure. Dukkha Daritrata Me Maname Sthirta Dega. What? The study of Natya Shastra. And Therefore, uh, majorly of dance and music, chapters of dance and music. In sorrow and in poverty, it will give you control. Abodh ko bodh milega, those who are ignorant will get some knowledge. Vibodha, jnani ko aur vedushya panditya milega. And those who are already knowledgeable, they will accrue more knowledge more understanding, deeper understanding, and udvignata me dhriti dhairya. And those who cannot control, who are udvigna, who are always worried, they will get dhairya, patience, saburi. I mean, you know, the, the, the concepts are so vast and so uh, all comprising, so noble, so generous. It is just like Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. It is not for I, me, myself, but it is for everybody 
in every possible situation. Then, nana bhavo pasampannam nana vasthantaratmanam loka vrittantanukaranam natyam etan mayakritam. Shloka 109, that's what Bharata says, Bharata Muni, that it comprises so many bhavas, so many emotions and feelings. And nana avasthan, so many conditions, states of being. Loka vrittanukaranam. And all that is happening around us in this loka, in this samaj, in the society around us. All that anukaranam, this describes in dance and music, in natya, in nata, in abhinaya, what is happening around us. Natya made that. And then that is why I've created this whole Natya Veda, I have created this uh, uh, parampara of Natya. He says, Dukkartanam, Shamartanam, Shokartanam, Tapasvinam, Vishrama Jananam Kale, Natyam Etad Bhavishyati, Shloka 112 and 113. It's very simple to understand how the study of Natya Shastra, how the practice Prayoga, and, and understanding dance and music helps dukhartanam, those who are artha, jo dukha se artha bhav se pade huye hai, vichare hai, shamartanam, jo thake huye hai, shokartanam, sorho mein dupe huye hai, peeda mein hai, tapasvi naam, jo tap karte hai, tapasvi, vishram jananam kale, in sab ko vishram chahiye, shanti chahiye, aise vakt mein natyam etad bhavishyati, aise samay mein natyam madad karta hai, vishram, man ko vishranti dene mein, shariir ko vishranti dene mein, apne aap ko vishranti dene mein. Aur phir mera ek aur favorite shlok hai, na taj gyanam, na taj shilpam, na sabit gyan sa kala, na taj karmana so yogo, as Vyasa has said, Veda Vyasa has said in Mahabharata, for Mahabharata, there's nothing in this world, no situation, no condition, no being, no feeling that does not exist in Mahabharata. If it is not in Mahabharata, it doesn't exist anywhere else. This is exactly that. There is no jnana, knowledge. Na tat shilpam. Shilpa is not only sculpture, but all that is created. Na sa vidya, any knowledge system. Na sa kala, any art form. Na tat karma, any action. Na so yoga, any yoga. Veda sahaja yoga, nada yoga, jnana yoga, bhakti yoga, yoga yoga, yoga yoga. We have so many yogas. Which you cannot perceive in the performance of Natya. The greatness of Natya Shastra is that it is also a reminder, a constant reminder to all of us slightly cynical people of 21st century. Company may come karna hai, job chahi, ye karna hai, gari leni hai, shadi karmani hai, but no education dilvana. I mean, there are hundred and thousand things in which we are mired. Hum hul jate hai ki jivan jo mila hai, manusha de mila hai. Usko sartak kese karna hai. How to live our lives beyond much beyond these daily rosemary ki zindagi, daily concerns. And therefore, it's very important, I have quoted the shloks, very important to be reminded again and again that the beauty, satyam shivam sundaram, that sundaram is very important by through which shiva, mangala, shubha, kalyan happens, and that alone is the satya, the eternal truth, the perennial truth. Shashvatam. So I uh, like to repeat these uh, adage, the sutras again and again. 
फिर मैं ये कहती हूँ कि जो चौथा द फोर्थ चैप्टर जो है नाट्य शास्त्र का उसको एक अलग नाम टाइटल करके भी लिखा गया बाद में तांडव लक्षण Now, Tandava here does not refer alone to the male form of dance, the the strong, vibrant, very uh, heavy footed sometimes, but it's a generic term for dance, Tandava Lakshanam. And the uh, famous postures, they are called karanas on the temple, especially. Tamil Nadu temples of uh, Chidambaram, Shiva temple, Sarangapani temple, Vishnu temple in Kumbakonam, and the Brahadishwara, again the great Shiva temple in Tanjavur. The hundred and eight. Now hundred and eight is a very very. हमारे लिए बहुत पवित्र संख्या है. वैसे प्रत्येक संख्या पवित्र है. एक से लेके लक्ष लक्ष कोटि कोटि. लेकिन ये 108 जप माला में होते हैं 108 नाम है 108 बहुत सारी चीजें हैं सो so, 108 करण है करण इज टू डू क्रिया कर्म करण कैसे होता है उसकी शुरुआत उसका मध्य भाग और एंड में पॉस्चर कैसा होगा दिस एंटायर प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड करण एंड दिस इज गिवन इन तांडव लक्षणम 108 इन मंदिरों की दीवारों पे द्वारों पे बनाए हुए हैं कभी आप जाए तो स्वयं देखिए वरना गूगल कर लीजिए एंड क्वाइट फ्यू ऑफ देम लगता है कि एक्रोबैटिक्स हैं जो आज आपको टीवी के जो शोज होते हैं बॉलीवुड का है उसमें दिखाई देता है वी कॉल इट कंटेम्पररी और वी कॉल इट एक्रोबैटिक्स लेकिन दीज आर ऑल पार्ट ऑफ दी टोटल एंटायर आर्ट ऑफ डांस इन भारत वर्ष तो कुछ लास्यमय है कुछ तांडव है कुछ एक्रोबैटिक्स लाइक है बंधन नृत्य उसको कहते हैं जब हम अकेले इनको निकाल के करते हैं वेन वी सेपरेट दीज एक्रोबैटिक पॉस्चर्स फ्रॉम द हंड्रेड एंड एट देन इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड बंधन नृत्य बांध शरीर को बांध के शरीर को बांध के यानी नॉट Uh, tied down, but to use the body in a way that you can depict. अब वो उसकी तो बहुत सारी चर्चा भी है, लेकिन यहाँ पर जो है तांजोर तंजावुर का शिव मंदिर है, ब्रह्मदीश्वरा, उसमें 108 नहीं है, उसमें मात्रा सत्यासी 87. Whereas in Chidambaram and Sarang Pani Temple, they are female dancers. In Tanjavur Temple, the 87 postures are by the four-armed Shiva himself, and then there are empty tablets, stone tablets, which is obvious that they could not finish. So, ये करना बहुत एक नाट्य के जो दो अंग हैं, एक है नृत्य, एक है नृत्य। तो नृत्य हम जिसको कहते हैं, जिसमें भाव नहीं है भाव है तो प्रसन्न है प्रसन्न भाव से नृत्य करना छंद ताल पे नृत्य करना राग रागणियों पे नृत्य करना लेकिन उसमें किसी पात्र का कैरेक्टर कंडीशन स्टेट ऑफ बीइंग का कोई उसमें डिपिक्शन नहीं होता है सो नृत्य जनरली वी व्हेन वी वेन टू वांट टू ट्रांसलेट इट इन इन टू इंग्लिश इज जस्ट एज वी से um what shall we say is uh, creating designs in space it is creating uh, different uh, 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 different uh, cycles of rhythm and dancing to those where footwork the body postures the hasta mudras they come into being in a big way it's like creating designs in space uh, where eyes and eyebrows and the neck movements also so the entire thing is like embroidery very beautiful but the other one this is nritya nritya that is the dance is informed by expressions by feelings by bhava your innermost feelings and your observations of things around you the situations that are created in life the puranic characters the upanishadic characters the vedic characters the stories 
uh, of birds and be and beasts and pranis and pashus and pakshis and gods and goddesses and demons and prince and princesses and kings and queens and ordinary people male female children in short all that consists in this world and we try to depict them in a way that the feelings blossom and the feelings convey to the audience and this is where i want to bring you back to rasa the word rasa rasa what shall we say taste rasa essence rasa the juice rasa rasa bhava feelings so when the dancer the performer the actor has absorbed so much absorbed the technique from the guru absorbed and understood the observations he or she has made herself also has learned from the guru some typical stories which are conveyed which are usually uh, uh, taught sab kuch mila ke then what is the juice what is the rasa it comes out of me in another transformative way i am depicting my krishna i am not depicting jayadeva's krishna i am not depicting geeta's krishna i am not depicting vedavyasa's krishna i am not depicting chaitanya's krishna or meera's krishna i will depict sona's krishna and maybe little little elements from here and there but my own inner most feelings have brought out this krishna this radha this sita this rama i will not talk about neeta and suresh i may not talk about ananda and uh, uh, rasika but why these archetypal characters are used to depict abhinaya and stories because they all have an upadesha it is not just to entertain our dances the traditional dances the shastrik dances are not just to entertain manoranjan is there of course they are supposed first to delight the eyes and enchant the ears and then take you above them take you to a, a level of transcendence where the dancer the actor performer is conveying something much more which was hidden until then and there that is rasa nishpatti that is where from where the rasa begins to emerge and that rasa is carried across to the audience to the darshaka and rasa swadana the audience tastes that rasa feels that rasa experiences that rasa so dancer is not dancing rasa dancer is dancing rasa bhava bhava from the bhava comes rasa nishpatti and carried across communicated the audience feels that rasa experiences rasa swadana so i i came to this from the karanas that ritta that is all ritta and again talking about the 108 as i said there are the masculine the tandava the lasya karanas and very interestingly they have beautiful names harina prutam garuda prutam the leap of the harina of the deer garuda eagle the way takes off and uh, vidyut bhranta when suddenly the lightning falls lightning happens you are vidyut bhranta so um um uh 108 names you can go through them and understand how beautiful they are ganga avataranam uh where the feet go up as the ganges descended on earth there is shakatasya like the wheels and there is latavrishchikam like a scorpion climbing on a creeper lalata tilakam the what we uh, know as urdhva tandava of shiva that one leg is completely held vertically up uh, but then the foot with the with the big uh, with the thumb with the big toe 
as if you are applying tilaka. Just imagine, lalata tilakam, uh, garuta prutakam, and harina prutakam, vishnu krantam. Yeah, just, just see vishnu krantam, the story, you know the story of Vamana, the fifth avatar of Vishnu, Mahavishnu. And in his fifth avatar, Vamana is a dwarf and he begs for the three uh, uh, steps worth of land for Bhumi. And the arrogant king Bali says, yes, I grant you. And with one foot, one step covers the earth, second step covers the heaven, sky, space, and holds up again the right foot and says, the third step, where shall I place it? So when the second step, he's uh, Mahavishnu, the Bhavan becomes Mahavishnu, and the leg is straight up there, as if measuring the space. That is the Vishnu Krantam. And that is one of the 108 Karanas. There are 32 Angaharas, Pindi Bandhas. Now these are all the names contained in Natya Shastra, which are very technical where Adavu's uh, basic units, like it's just like taking a letter, making a word, word makes a sentence, sentences make a paragraph and paragraphs, paragraphs make a nibandha, an essay or a short story or a poem or a play or, or a novel. So these are the building blocks of Natya, especially Nritta, the pure or abstract dance. Now, how to purify performance space? This is also very, very important because uh, nowadays, of course, you stand somewhere, you know, you're made to stand in a studio. I've often observed that uh, unlike in my, the good times, even if you did not place a deity on stage, Nataraja, Jagannatha, Sri Ganesh, anything. Or we didn't, I did not ever place, I still do not place anything on stage because the Ranga Mancha, that itself is the Ranga Mandira, that is our temple. And I am the Pujarini, I'm the worshipper. And putting the first foot on stage before that, we do our namaskaras and we sanctify the stage, the performing area with the mango leaves and uh, water sprinkling with the dhupa, deepa, naivedya and pray that may the space become the temple for everyone, the darshakas and may the divine presence bless us. So it's very important to sanctify this uh, stage, the space and how to purify that is elaborately the vidhi, the process explained. The jarjari is one of the very, very important elements which we now don't do, in Natya especially. That is the combined prayoga of uh, dance, acting, and music. The jarjari, that is the danda, specially sanctified danda, is placed. Now that is also called the vignaharta. It removes all the vignas, obstacles, and difficulties. I would also say that Irshas and black eyes that people throw and the Jarjari that is Indra Dhaja, which was placed in the beginning of Natya Shastra when the reenactment of Samudra Manthana, the Prayoga began. Before that, Jarjari was established. So even today it's done. Sprinkling water, etc. Kalasha Sthapana. So the Kalasha of copper or bronze or even uh, uh, earth is placed with the mango leaves and the shripar, the coconut. And this depicts the universe and all the flora, fauna, everything. And that is, as we use in Navaratri also, that is established, Karashthapana, the Nandi sun. That is a melodious prayer. And it has translated now into Mangala, Charana, Suti, Mallari, Bhumi Pradam, Ishta Deva Mandana, etc. <clears throat> now, because dance and music are the two main elements, they are Anukriti. Anukriti is, uh, 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 I won't say mimicking or following or uh, what is the word? It's Anukaran Karna, Lekin Trailokyas 
त्रैलोकस्य अस्य सर्वस्य नाट्यम भावानुकीर्तनम आई एम सॉरी इट्स वेरी कोल्ड इन डेली सो नाट्यम भावानुकीर्तनम एज आई सेड नाउ जस्ट नाउ लिटिल टाइम अगो दैट नाट्य अनुसरण करता है भाव को यह जगत इह त्रैलोक्य परलोक यह लोक सबके भाव का अनुकरण करता है एंड वी फॉलो ऑल दैट हैपन्स इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड ऑल दैट हैपन्स इन अवर इमेजिनेशन ऑल दैट हैपन्स इन अवर क्रिएटिव इमेजिनेटिव वर्ल्ड दैट वी ब्रिंग फोर्थ नाट्यम भावानुकीर्तनम नाउ आई कम टू दी टेक्निक अंग भंग for the dancer especially anga bhanga begins with the spine the straight spine the brahma danda the meru danda our spine from there emanates everything so spine has to be yatha pinde tatha brahmande the meru is straight the prithvi's meru is slightly askans but our meru is straight we don't go like that and uh, samabhanga that is when we are absolutely balanced there are many uh, vigrahas many uh, uh, images of buddha standing straight <coughs> there is abhanga with one knee slightly flexed ek ek ghutna thoda sa jhuka hua jaise shri ram khade hote hain kai murtiyon mein kai paintings mein hain ye inka vishesh uh, posture hai tribhanga वाह 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 जिसमें गला कटी और जानो यानी घुटना वो त्रिभंगा इज वे यू ब्रेक द नेक ब्रेक मीनिंग यू इज अस्कांस एंड वेस्ट एंड एंड द नीज सो त्रिभंग एंड दिस इज वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुली डिपिक्टेड इन ओडिसी स्पेशली द डांस ऑफ ओडिसा and ati bhanga when you know dances the dancer is in ecstasy or in the middle of uh, a lot of uh, whirlwinds the pirwets the bhramaris that is where ati bhanga happens i i have a very interesting uh, example in the spiritual dimension okay samabhanga is the surya is straight it doesn't go here it doesn't go there it's straight surya abhanga like the earth as i said earth is on this dhuri rotating around the sun the earth tribhanga the saptarshis or krishna shri krishna and ati bhanga all going helter skelter like dhumaketu striking that is ati bhanga and i found that as a very interesting spiritual explanation and therefore the laya vilaya pralaya that is a gati bheda laya laya ho gaya but laya here is also the speed in which laya pralaya is of course the like the tsunami where it goes faster 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 it overtakes it overwhelms and you sink in it and vilaya where laya slowly fades out so the uh, the three laya speeds are of course gati manda and uh, middle and that is vil vilambita and uh, madhya the the more vilambit your nishwasa shwas breath the longer you live the quieter you are the deeper you go and that is the vilambita the vilambita dancing and singing is very difficult and if you have heard dhrupad the dhrupad our uh, ancient form of music dhrupad is begins with om and extremely it is ati vilambita and then it slowly comes to vilambita then it comes to madhya then druta madhya and then druta faster and ati druta faster 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 so this is how i think our life is also begins with the vilambita birth and the babyhood childhood and we come to the kishoravastha 
शिशु बाल्य किशोरावस्था यौवनावस्था एंड देन फास्ट 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 एंड देन वी कम बैक बिकमिंग ओल्डर एंड गति बिकम स्लोअर एंड देन वी बिकम स्लोअर एंड अगेन वी गो टू द विलंबित एंड देन विलय ओके now i want to bring you to the rasa the theory of rasa a little bit as is applicable in dance i'll first go to dance and to music keep an eye on time okay <coughs> the uh, theory of rasa is because it's very simple basically our life is all entwined with rasa there is shringar not singar not applying bindi and kajal but shringar and um, i asked my very dear friend whom i respect so much dr lokesh chandra ji i said please uh, tell me the uh, etymology of shringar the the nishpatti Uh, from the word and he said shringa means shikhara the highest point shringa also means horns because they are the highest point on an animal's body so shikhara ara ala ara like ear and j like b and v shringa ala अलंकृत श्रृंग इज अलंकृतम देर फॉर द मोस्ट डेकोरेटेड हाइएस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ भाव ऑफ फीलिंग आई थॉट दैट वॉज सो ब्यूटिफुल मे बी दैट इज दैट आई डोंट नो आई नेवर हर्ट एनी वन गिव मी एनी अन ऑफ द एक्सप्लेनेशन सो आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर इट विथ यू दैट श्रृंग दैट उत्कट भाव यू at the point of union in love is called rasa samadhi there is a yoga samadhi this is rasa samadhi why because raso vai sah and rasananda has been equated with brahmananda the the final point of suddenly the brahma gyan is striking and that utkata bhav at the highest point of union where there is no two there is only one rasa samadhi and therefore shringara is the very first adi rasa has been called the the very first the first ancient adi there from there emerges hasya hasya is not ha 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 but hasya means enjoyment mirth sukshmatam that shringar the fulfillment emotional physical spiritual fulfillment and it brings forth when you come to your presence then hasya and then the second one is raudra the main rasa from which emerges karuna after you you are angry and furious you realize and you feel sad you feel sorrowful you feel remorse karuna compassionate there is the third rasa veera heroic and from why is he heroic why the veera rasa like shri rama breaking the great bow of shiva adbhuta from veera emerges adbhuta wonderment surprise and the fourth is bibhats something like smashana bhairava like uh, something that is so horrible mm. from there emerges bhayanaka mm. Mm. oh bhayanaka so natya shastra has enumerated only eight and is called navarasa because abhinava gupta to me unnecessarily added shanta as a ninth rasa 
But I leave you with a question, not leave you, but I ask you a question for you to mull on. That rasa is a rasa pravaha. There are ups and downs. You are not always angry. You are not always feeling pathos or compassion or sad. You are not always laughing. You are, these come and go like bubbles on. They are the rasa pravaha. In Shanta, there is no pravaha. There are no ups and downs. And therefore, I think Bharata was the wise one. He gave us only eight from four and another four. So Navarasas, I call them Ashtarasas. Now, every rasa has its color and presiding deity. I'm not going to take you into that because that you will have to search for yourself. It's very, very simple. It's all there. But I just marvel at Natya Shastra and Bharata Muni that <laughs> to, to which extent he has taken this that every rasa has a color. Yes, normally we, uh, uh, we, we say uh, anger is red. We say asuya, that is uh, uh, irsha, jealousy is green, the green eyed monster. Shringara is pink, yellow, something. Veera, orange. So the dark colors are for Bhayanaka and uh, Vibhatsa. So automatically the rasas are there. The colors are there. And the presiding deities are there, therefore, like Rudra. It's for Rudra. So I give you a little homework. You will do a lot of homework on that, I'm sure. Now I come to the Nritya Vinaya. Why such elaborate arrangements and which demand descriptions of every aspect of preparation and for presentation? Because art is divine. It raises levels of consciousness, awareness, wisdom, and even leads to enlightenment. They say Nritya is the easiest way to enlightenment. Because there, Angika, Vachika, Aharya, Satika, all the four are together. Your, what, the way you dress, that shows the, the quality of your being. Vachika, how you speak, reflecting your thoughts, Vichara, Vani, Vyahavara. And there is Bharati, that is, uh, uh, this is Vachika, then Angika, the body, the way you hold yourself, the way you walk, the way you sit, the way you look at anyone. And Sattvika, what you really are inside. All these four. And these come together <coughs> in Nritya Yoga. I have given it the name Nritya Yoga about, I think, 20, 25 years ago. And now I've been talking about it. So a lot of other people have picked it up. I'm so happy. Because it must be the highest form of yoga. And sorry, I don't call it yoga. It's yoga, as in Sanskrit. And therefore, I believe that Mahadeva Devadhi Deva is given the title of Nataraja, not Gita Raja, Kavi Raja, Vaidya Raja, Neta Raja, only Nataraja. And Devi is called Nateshwari. And I think we should be proud of that. So it leads to enlightenment. Nritya Yoga as the highest point of self, culmination of all performance and visual arts. Now dance uses the body as instrument. I'll come to music very quickly because uh, there you have the Veena, the Mridanga, the Venu, the Manjira, the everything. But for the dancer, the body, the only instrument on which she or he plays. Oof. So, train and tune it like an instrument. And that is our daily sadhana, daily tapasya, the different forms of yogasan, different exercises, and angabhangas that I described, the griva chalan of nine types, only the griva, nine types, 
ಸಮಾನತ ಉನ್ನತ ತೇಸ್ರ ರೀಚಿತ ಕುಂಚಿತ ಅಂಚಿತ ವಲಿತ ನಿವೃತ್ತ ಓ ಮೈ ಗಾಡ್ and the nostrils and the hips and the cheeks i i i noted all that down but it will take time so maybe i'll share it uh with uh, uh richaji for your easy approach and uh, i told you about angi ka vachi ka aharya satvika the four kinds of abhinaya uh very beautifully described in the shlok angi kam bhuvanam yasya vachi kam sarvamangmayam ಆಹಾರ್ಯಂ ಚಂದ್ರತಾರಾಧಿ ತಂ ನಮಸ್ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ ಶಿವಂ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ ಶಿವಂ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ಶುಭ ಮಂಗಲ ಅಸ್ಪೆಷಿಯಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಶಿವ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಡು ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ ಭಾವ ಆಂಗಿಕ ಭುವನಂ ಯೂಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ is the entire universe this is my individual universe angikam bhuvanam yasya vachikam sarva vangmayam vangmay is not only literature all every spoken word all kinds of sounds all that is vachik and that's what we use in our music in our songs in our uh, 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 spoken words in our recitations angikam bhuvanam yasya vachikam sarva mangmayam aharyam the decoration the embellishment chandra the full moon or the second day the bija chandra or the half ardha chandra or the full chandra aharyam chandra taradi the stars the moon and the stars are shiva's ornaments for me also these are the embellishments that we wear and tam namasat vikam shivam and when i use all this to perfection with the body instrument tuned to the t i create the satvika shiva within me and this is ah oh i feel so good even just sharing it that there is the possibility of this kind of life this kind of being this kind of yaktitva this possibilities within all of us the neck movements i told you there are nine then there are eyebrow movements we see i find i i, I said this in rajya sabha also in the parliament i said you know <laughs> you are all dancers but you don't know you are not aware the difference between you and me is that i'm aware i'm conscious and i have learned when to raise one eyebrow when to uh, raise both eyebrows when to do kunchita anchita when to playfully do this when to do this or when to do this or when to use the hasta mudra you don't know you just do something you don't realize but we are all basically dancers so why don't you all learn dance and use the discipline to your advantage seven kind of eyebrow movements brucha there are six kinds of you know when you are happy they are full uh, and uh, when you are sad mm, so all that is there there is uh, the nasika there is nata manda vikruta <laughs> six kinds of that and uh, six kinds of mouth lips adhara oshtha sucking in smiling chumbana all that then so so the upangas the major limbs of arms legs the uh, torso the head and the upangas the minor limbs so just imagine in this one unit alone you have griva you have a uh, bhru eyebrows you have netra eyes you have the nostrils nasika you have the adhar ushtha that is the mouth you have the cheeks capola and you have the griva the neck oh attributes of a female dancer i think that you should know that neither too tall or short neither fat nor thin oh my nowadays you see very thin thinny thin dancers and in the south you'll find really buxom well fed dancers but anyway large eyes well formed body intelligent this is very important intelligent to pick up 
from where she left or she made a mistake to cover it up or to listen to the music where the musician made a, a, a mistake, how to cover it up and how to get back into their rhythm. If something falls off from the embellishments, how to cover it up, how to push, push it off or how to while dancing, pick it up and again, put it all that is intelligence, able to comprehend mood of audience, not go on dancing, dancing, dancing till only the chaukidar is left. Aisa bhi hota hai ki ga rahe, ga rahe, ga rahe, do log bache hai, bole, yare, bohat, bohat, dhanyabad, ab rasik hai. Bole, nahi ji, mein dari uthane ke liye baitha hoon, aur mein tala maharne ke liye baitha hoon. So the mood of the audience has to be gauged, and the span, the duration of the dances, the performance, but also what kind of performance. So, and Pratyut Pannamati, able to correct on stage without break, as I mentioned. What are the attributes of male dancer? So naturally gifted has to be Vilas, able to appreciate and enjoy his art. Understanding of text and meaning he has to have. Physically fit, you can't have paunchy uh, male dancers. My God, there are quite a few of them nowadays. Attractive personality. Not arrogant because the Purusha Sahaja extends, you know, this male arrogance comes in. But the male dancer has to be very vinamra. The dancing should not, the arrogance should not emanate from the dance and dedicated to guru and the art. Now, this is not said about the female dancer. Just imagine Bharata enumerates this only for the male dancer because the female dancer by nature is vinamra. Guru Agya Palan Hari and all that. I find this also very interesting. And uh, quite, quite a few times in my master classes, my male participants suddenly they understand how they have been, how they are seen, and what they should do. Okay. Now I come to uh, uh, Prathamodhyaya. Yeah, okay. I, I want to quote only the first shloka now, which I should have quoted right at the beginning, doesn't matter. I'm coming back to the opening of Natya Shastra, the first chapter. And what Stuti does Bharata do? Bharata Muni says, Pranamya Shilasa Devo. Yeah, Shilasa with the head bowed. So whenever we do Pranam, we don't do Pranam like that. The real Pranam is bringing your palms together, tip, fingertip to fingertip, and then bow the head over it. That is the normal pranam. We do our pranam kneeling on the knees on the ground and putting our head at Guru's feet. Bharata Muni says, Pranamya Shirsa Devo Pitamaha Maheshwaro. He only bows his head to Pitamaha, that is Brahma, and to Mahadev, Maheshwara. Natya Shastram Pravakshyami Brahmana Yadudatraha. Um, my question is, without being cheeky, and I leave this question with you, that normally we bow to Sri Ganesh at the beginning, we bow to Saraswati, the goddess of learning and all the arts and knowledge. We bow to Bhagavati, Nateshwari, and of course we bow to Shiva Nataraja, and many times then later on, we bow to Sri Krishna as the Nateshwara, Nataraj, uh, I mean, what is his thing? Natanagara. Here he is only, Bharat Muni says, only to Pitamaha Brahma and to Maheshwaro. So I wanted somebody to explain this to me. Nobody has been able to explain that to me. Now, Gramyam Dharma Pravritte tu, Lohamo, all that, all that, all that, all that, all that. I will, I will skip that. And uh, how he comes to the Bharatim, Satvatim, all that is there. Kaushik, Kaushiki Vritti. So what the, the word I want to tell you is Kaushiki Vritti. Vritti is your temperament, but Vritti of dance, in dance, is the mode. And Kaushiki is the beautiful mode of dancing, which we normally watch and we perform. Kaushiki Vritti. And um, then there is a uh, uh, Shringara Sambhava, Larita Vinay, Nashakya Purushehi, 
budget allocation okay nigrah vinaya now what i have to come to are the uh yeah wait 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 where is my yeah now the music i've said a lot about dance i think i have told you about uh all the upangas but what i left out was maybe deliberately the most important uh, tatva element of hasta mudra the hand gestures even an american or red indian when you say indian dance they say a a a a so the hasta mudras and the neck movement are the most important elements for others to know hasta mudras are 28 of with one hand uh, पताक त्रिपताक अर्धपताक कर्तरी मुख अराल शुकतुंड मयूर कटक मुख मुष्ठी शिखर अर्धचंद्र चंद्रकला सूची पद्मकोश अल्ल पद्म कपिथ टू टाइप्स ऑफ कपिथ एंड देन देर इज वॉट इज देर हमसास्य सिंह मुख हमस पक्ष मृगशीर्ष भ्रमर चतुर ताम्रचूड त्रिशूल मूकुल लांगुल समदमशम त्रिशूल ऑल दैट हज कम एंड देन देर आर दी संयुक्त हस्त मुद्रास एंड बिगिन्स विथ अंजलि एंड देन कपोतम एंड पुष्पपुटम एंड कर्कटम एंड फटम एंड डोल एंड शंख एंड चक्र एंड पाश एंड कीलक एंड नागबंध पताक स्वस्तिक खरतरी स्वस्तिक भेरुंड संपुट गरुड लेफ्ट आउट सम मे बी एंड शकटावर्धन एक्सेट्रा दीज हस्त मुद्रास कैन बी लर्न एज हस्त मुद्रास बट वाय सो द पॉइंट इज द विनी योग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विनी योग प्रयोग हाउ डू यू यूज दैम फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई से pataka the first hasta mudra pataka literally means the dwaja pendant flag pataka with the pataka natya rambe vari vahe vane vastu nishedhan etc how what all you can show you can show vastu nishedhan no at the beginning of a performance natya rambe vari vahe the clouds which contain rain the water and vane all the vana the creepers and all and uh, breeze and waves on water and ghana tape the heat <coughs> and to say no and to say not to say but to um, what's a thappad uh, i'll slap you and to show ripper with the mukuta and uh, khadga to cut with the sword and to say you and me and here and there and all and come you can use go on using beyond what bharata natya shastra has said so these hasta mudras are the life i would say of dance in bharat bhumi bharat bhumi because these are the outer uh, outgoing gestures the second most important Uh, element i would consider are the eyes the eyes in pure dance ta te te yum tat tam kin tak ta te and round and uh, up and down and sideways and half and round like all that is there but in abhinaya even without doing anything how much you can do with eyes just try look in the mirror or try with your husband or wife or children so i consider the lochana netra very very important i hasta mudra ho gaya i come to music quickly there are seven notes like in do le mi fa sol fa si uh, even the western music has seven notes and they begin with sharja sharja is shown by i mean uh, we say it's a peacock calling the sharja rishabh re is the chataka bird gandhara is a small goat cheri the small goat age 
and uh, madhyama is the groncha pakshi pancham is the kuku koyala dhaivata is the frog manduka nishada is the call of the elephant and uh, these are the seven notes basic seven notes then there are 12 shrutis they say the in between uh, komala and tivra the harsh the hard uh, the upper notes with the one note there is upper and the lower so like madhyama has only upper gandhara has only lower rishabh has only lower but the nishada has tivra as well as komal all that but what what makes it very interesting is also that our music shastriya sangeet has unlimited shrutis the uh, uh, the 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 micro micro notes unlimited micro notes from sharja to rishabh how do you meander like birds in sky or like fish in water and you achieve rishabh now there lies the uh, samarthya of the musician whether instrumentalist or vocalist so there are four kinds of instruments tat that are the string instruments tat veena sitar sarod etc avanagha which are uh, covered with uh, skin like mridangam pakhavaj nak dhol ghana the metal instruments cymbals manjira jhanj sushil which which play through the modulation of wind prabaha vayu prabaha like the flute the trombone the western instruments there are many more we have majorly flute shahnai and muhuri and these are very very interesting uh, the tala because here the swara seven swaras the kind of instruments and then the tala as i said earlier in bhavaraga tala the basic <coughs> units are chaturasra four beats tishram three beats khanda five beats misra seven beats sankirna nine beats and the main seven rhythmic cycles main or patterns rhythmic patterns dhruvo mathyo rupakasya <coughs> jhampa त्रिपुटमेवचा अट्टताले कतालश्च सप्तताला प्रकीर्तिता हा नाउ ध्रुव रेफर्स टू टुडेस आडा चौताल मठ्य रेफर्स टू सुरफाक रूपक इज दादरा टुडेस दादरा 3 झंपा झपताल 10 एक एंड त्रिपुटा तेवरा अट्टताल दीपचंदी 14 मात्रास त्रिपुटा 7 मात्रास एंड एक ताल 12 the gatis as i explained speed vilampita madhya druta now i come to the ragas the melodies now there is no exact uh, translation for raga uh, with this i'll finish i think i'm overlapping but as i told you i'm sorry it's 7 o'clock i'm sorry it's an ocean I, 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 please forgive me so hindustani karnataka odia the three systems of uh, 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 music in in india They are time bound. The Hindustan is time bound, but uh, then I had uh, some very interesting. I'll leave it to give it to Richa, but I'll just mention that the ragas, as in Shastra, are linked to six seasons: winter, that is Shishira, and uh, like they say, Rag Shri should be sung with the Raginis, Malavi, Gauri, Kedari, Triveni are the Raginis of Rag Shri. which should be sung in winter in vasanta ritu in spring the raga vasanta is main but the ragnis are deshi varati devagiri todi lalat hindol i just wanted to give you this because the uh, varieties that are available to us in carnatic music they have 72 melakattas some similarly in hindustani they call thart 12 thats and then in um, uh, late autumn there's a member hemanta there is varsha monsoon there is grishma summer vasanta how much is there and i have not even touched upon the literature the literary aspect 
that informs Abhinaya, Natya. I mean, the stories from Puranas, Vedas, the stories from Upanishads, Mahabharata, Ramayana, epics, modern day stories, Jabala, from whom Jabalpur has been named, the Panchakanyas. I, I mean, you know, and as I said, they're all Upadeshatmaka. Even the simple episode of Krishna uh, 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 fighting with Kali and Naga, the black cobra, poisonous cobra in the river Yamuna, by which Yamuna became poisonous, frothing, foaming, green, stinking. That's a description given in Srimad Bhagavat Purana. And Krishna fights with the hundred thousand hoods of poison spewing uh, cobra and vanquishes and dances on the hoods and just surrenders the, the, the snake cobra surrenders. Krishna doesn't kill. So there the compassion. And first is a veera from which Adbhuta, Krishna dancing on thousand hoods and then compassion, Karuna and uh, asking it to go away from the habitations and then bhakti, va, hasya, adbhut, va, and shringar, that Krishna, that dancing Krishna, the shringar emerges in the hearts of the gopis. So much is there. But why I say this episode is Upadeshatmak, today's Yamuna, today's Ganga, there's a huge project in India, Bharat, the rivers are polluted. We will fight for drinking water very soon. What is, who is Krishna? Krishna is all of us. Krishna is not Supreme Court. Krishna is not the government. Krishna is each, each one of us. And Krishna, Sri Krishna, Kaliya teaches us to be that. So like that, we have to draw the sattvika, the, sat, the sattva, the essence from each of these. And this of our great literature, literary heritage, the great paramparas give us so much to chew on, to dance with, to sing, to praise, to be namra, humble, and to share. Thank you very much. I've finished, thank you. Oh my God. Sorry. Thank you so much, ma'am. It was an in extremely rasatmic uh, uh, sharing and uh, really insightful session for all of us. Uh, would it be okay for a couple of questions? Okay. Is yeah, there still just, time? Yes, if it's okay with you, ma'am. A little bit okay, not too much okay, because then I have to let you go for a meeting. Okay. Sure, sure. We'll keep it very brief. Yeah. Um, yes, Sureshji, if you could unmute yourself. Namaste. Am I audible? Namaste. Yes, you are audible, sir. Yes. Please. Huh? Go on. Sureshji, you are on mute. We are not able to hear you. Yeah. Pratamataha Mamas Prama Pranaman Svigarutu Mataji Bhavantaha. Don't call me Mataji. I'm not Mataji. I'm only Sonalji. Bhagini. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Dhanavata. Bhavantaha Upanyasam Bhav Sundara Masti Bhavatya Namapi Ati Sulha Masti Sonali Mansing. Not Sonali, no. sir. Sonala. Simple. Sonala. Sonal. Golden. That is gold. Gold. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. See, you let me convert in, come into English. You told that male characteristics are different from female characteristics. But now, after listening to your enlightened lecture, you have attained that stage because of your name. You attained name and fame also. Man, 
manasing so man you will be able to attribute the characteristics of man also there is no are... man man is man man is not man sing is man. manaha manam that is uh, kanthe nalambayet kanthe <laughs> nalambayet geetam is like the proud lion man sing is proud noble lion that proud manaha iti manaha Am I audible, madam? Yes, you are audible, sir. Okay. <clears throat> so, what's the question? It is not direct question. Rasa ha definition is required in detail, if possible. How it is connected with uh, hands and uh, sight and actions? These three things together. Rasa wa isa ha. You told no. So we saw her. So we saw her. In detail, it's not possible to go into detail now. As I said, my time is very limited. Okay. But you want this um, synchronization and uh, abhinaya and all that together in this little space. If I have to show, I will just show. Yato hasta tato drishti. I will just. I will just show. Yeah. Yato hasta tato drishti. Yato drishti. Tato mana. Yato mana. Tato bhava. Yato bhava. Tato rasa. Okay. But in this little frame, I can't do all that. I will just try my best. That if I And from here, if I take the shlok, you know the shlok, no? Ratri gamishyati bhavishyati suprabhatam bhaswanu deshyati hasishyati pankajashriyam ityam ityam vichintya kosha gate dvirefe ha hanta hanta nalinim gajamud jahara. You know the shlok. So if I have shown the full blown lotus. And the greedy Brahmara, who doesn't go away at sunset, and is caught in the close the lotus closes, but the Brahmara is very very positive thinking. Ratri gavishyati bhavishyati suprabhatam. The Ratri will end and suprabhatam will happen. Bhaswanu deshyati hasishyati pankajashriyam. The sun will shine, and once again the lotus will open. Itham vichintya kosha gate dvirefe, and thus thinking, who is thinking that kosha gate dvirefe inside? Ha hanta hanta, are are are. Oh, alas, nalinim ga jamud jahara. The elephant comes and tramples the lotus with the foot. Now, what do you say? There is hasta mudra, there is bhava, and there is upadesha. Okay. Next. Wow, that was really amazing. I am really in wonderment, ma'am. Uh, we also have Rajiv ji. If you could keep your question really brief, sir, it would be really nice. Namaskar, ma'am. मैं ये पूछना चाह रहा हूँ कि भावना अच्छी भी हो तो कभी-कभी ऐसा हो जाता है कि मन में जो चिंताएं हैं वो गलत विचार पैदा करती हैं तो मन को संयम में कैसे रखा जाए उस पे कुछ विचार आप दे पाएं <laughs> ये तो मैंने इसमें कह ही दिया है कि भरत मुनि ने और भरत मुनि के अनेक पूर्व नाट्याचार्यों ने हमारे गुरु ने और मैं भी जो सिखाती हूँ काउंसलिंग करती हूँ जीवन में कोई न कोई कला का आश्रय लेना अच्छा होता है कला का आश्रय लेना कला सीखना तो एक चीज होती है सीख लिया और फिर रोजमर्रे की जिंदगी में पैसा कमाने की चिंता में वो कला को भूल भी गए लेकिन जब आपका जीवन कला पर आश्रित होगा कि आपके बाकी के कामों के साथ पैसे कमाने के साथ व्यवहार जो संसारिक व्यवहार है उसको निभाने के साथ यदि कला पे आश्रित जीवन है तो आप जैसे मैं करती हूँ कि मुझे 
मेरे भी जीवन में बहुत उतार चढ़ाव आए हैं आज मैं भले पद में भी भूषण हूँ सांसद हमेशा नहीं थी बहुत उतार चढ़ाव आए हैं लेकिन कुछ श्लोक याद आता है कोई भजन याद आता है कोई पद याद आता है मैं गुनगुनाती रहती हूँ मैं गाती हूँ या जब मेरा एक्सीडेंट हुआ उन्नीस में जर्मनी में रीढ़ की हड्डी टूट गई पता है आपको आज भी बारहवीं जो डिस्क कहते हैं वो नहीं है चूर हो गई थी ग्यारह और बारहवीं के बीच में एक छोटा नया नई हड्डी निकली थी उसी के पर मैं सहारे से जिंदा हूँ काम कर रही हूँ तो जब मेरा चार किलो का ये प्लास्टर का था चार पस्तियां टूटी हुई थी कॉलर बोन आज भी नहीं है बारह वाला चूर हो गया नहीं है देखिए तो प, यहां पड़े पड़े अस्पताल में मात्र सीलिंग दिखती थी लेकिन मन में मुंह से कुछ न कुछ कुछ न कुछ राम रामे ती रामे ती रमे रामे मनोरमे सस नाम तत्तुल्यम राम नाम वरानने कुछ न कुछ निकलता था और उसने मुझे पूरा ग्यारह महीना सस्टेन किया जब तक मैं ठीक होके वापस आई तो मेरे कहने का तात्पर्य ये है कि कुछ भी है तो अंगुली अच्छा चिंता में हूं सूची हस्त हो गया क्या बात है अल्लाह पद्म हो गया वाह 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 दो पता का हो गई ये भी सोचने से आपका मन थोड़ा सा हल्का हो जाता है और फिर आप दूसरों को देखने की प्रवृत्ति भी कर सकते हो कि लोग कितने बेढंगे हैं कितने बेसुरे हैं कितने बेताले हैं कैसे फसल फसल चलते हैं कैसे उठते बैठते हैं शरीर का भान नहीं कहा जा रहे हैं भान नहीं आप यदि अपनी कला को कुछ साहित्य को कुछ गाना कुछ थोड़ा हस्त मुद्रा कुछ ताल पैर चलाना जो योगासन करते हैं पैर चलाना भी सीखिए आई कॉल डांस द डायनामिक योग मात्र योग करना एक अलग चीज है वो तो करना चाहिए मन को धैर्यवान बनाना उसके साथ आप डायनेमिक योग जोड़ेंगे कुछ प्रवृत्ति करते रहेंगे पांच मिनट दस मिनट पंद्रह मिनट आपके दो कालियों पकड़ के उठ बैठ करेंगे ये पुरानी पनिशमेंट कहते थे पनिशमेंट नहीं है ये अभी साइंटिफिक हमें पश्चिम वाले सिखा रहे हैं कि दिस एंशियंट पनिशमेंट इन इंडिया वॉज टू एनर्जाइज प्रवाह शुरू होता है यहाँ पहुंचता है मस्तिष्क में आप ऊर्जावान होते हो यहाँ करके देखिए तो बहुत तरीके हैं भैया फूल को देखिए आनंद में है कोई फूल फूल नहीं सोच रहा कि मुझे कोई देख रहा है कि नहीं मुझे कोई अप्रिशिएट एडमायर कर रहा है कि नहीं ना ना उसका रंग है सुगंध बिखेरता है तो हमें वो फूल बनना है फूल बनिए ना एफ डबल ओ एल नहीं पुष्प मैं कह रही हूँ <laughs> हंसते रहिए मेरी तरह हंसते रहिए ओके जी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद चलिए आप सबको धन्यवाद आप सबको बहुत नमस्कार आप लोग भगवत प्रिय हो कलाश्रय आपका जीवन हो और तन्मयता से आप जिए कल्याण हो शुभ हो भगवती सबका कल्याण करें प्रणाम प्रणाम गुरु जी थैंक यू सो सो मच फॉर द सेशन माय प्लेशर माय प्लेशर थैंक यू